there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's card features this sweet strawberry stamp set from Stamping Up. That's the stamp set there, and we're going to be using this image right here to do a little bit of watercoloring. Now I'm going to show you my way of watercoloring. I'm sure there are other much more sophisticated um, ways of watercoloring, but this is how I do it, and it's pretty pretty simple <laughs> um, but I hope that you enjoy it so all I've used for this card is a piece of half a piece of cardstock of thick basic white cut in hard and half and scored and I've already gone ahead and adhe adhered um, this beautiful embossing folder which is the ornate flowers embossing folder and I've already adhered it to the front of the card just to save a bit of time there it is there and so I, I ran a, um, I've cut the, the basic white cardstock to the same size as the actual card and then I ran it through my stamping cut and emboss machine to get that beautiful um, embossed raised embossed flower image I, I hope I hope this video does it justice because I just it is my honestly my all-time favorite embossing folder I'll have it forever and ever and ever I'm just sure of it right I'll show you how I made this so I've used magenta madness and um, just jade inks and a piece of whisper uh, sorry not whisper white um, shimmery white water uh, paper which is perfect for watercolor and you can also use our watercolor paper um, but either or whichever one you prefer I, I like the shimmery one because it's a little bit thinner and it has lit, has actually got that bit of shimmer in it so let's go ahead and stamp up our ink up our stamp now that I'm using um, stays on which is the um, what you need when you're doing water coloring now the stays on does um, stain your um, your um, photo photopolymer stamp so just so you know it doesn't ruin them it just stains them so they're perfect to use again um, and so I'm just doing some random stamping of the image on here and which way shall we go with that one I think up there so I, I cut my piece of shimmer paper at five centimeters and I kept it the same width as the card so it'll be 14.8 um, or 14.9 centimeters and the magenta madness piece at the back there is just cut um, a centimeter wider just pop that out of the way now for the water coloring just bring in your two ink pads now I tend to squeeze the ink onto the lid but you can just go ahead and pop some ink from your um, refill into the into there or pop it onto a block whatever um, is your preferred method to watercolor and I've just got to find my water painter so our water painters come in a set of three and they have three different um, thicknesses for the for the um for the, the the nib so i'm using the slightly thinner one so all i'm going to do is i'll just i'll pick this one right here and i'm just going to um, squeeze a dab of water into each of these flowers that's all i'm doing oops that one's a bit big a bit much water and then i'm going to use my paper towel just to dry that off then i'm going to come in with my my ink to make sure it's can see what I'm doing there <laughs> come in with my magenta madness just pick up a little bit there and where I've got that dab of water I'm just bringing the water out um, bringing the ink and the water out there I'm just spreading it around so I'm not doing anything terribly complicated and the more ink you put down and the less water obviously the darker it will be so this one here, I'm not going to re-ink. I'm just going to use that water that's in there and just move it round the flower. Might need a little bit more. And then same for this little one here. Again, it just depends uh, how much you want on there. 
and obviously the more water you put down the longer it will take to dry so just squeeze that out now to get that ink that color out and I'm just going to do the leaf I'm not going to do them all I'm just going to do that one because I've already got one prepared here otherwise oops forgot to so just drop down some a, a dub of water I'm, I'm just squeezing the barrel of the water painter put a um, drop of ink on each of those leaves and then picking it up and then bringing it around okay. and again if you wanted to um, you know be get the the I guess the vein of the leaf a bit darker you could put more color in there and do a bit more shading but the object of my painting is just to show you kind of a a quick way to get some color down and also gives you I think it's a nice finish and like I said you can use the shimmer paper or you can use the watercolor paper whatever you prefer watercolor paper is is thicker than this I just like the shimmer from this and that's my very simple easy way to do watercoloring nothing terribly complicated about that <laughs> so i'll pop that one to dry and finish that one off later and here's one that i didn't have done um, earlier um, so i've got a little bit darker down here because obviously i put a little bit less water down and a bit more ink um, again it's personal preference how you like it to look um, so I'm going to, that one's dry, so I'm just going to pop some Tombow on the back of that one and adhere it to my Gentle Madness. Okay. Make sure that's straight. Yep. Give it a minute. Now... Um, I've already gone ahead and stamped the uh, sentiment. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. And just pop that. Whoops, it's not quite dry. There we go, about there. Now for this one, I put um, my linen thread. All the, I wrapped it all the way around. I thought I'd just go with a simple little bow for this one. Um, but we might just adhere that first so I bring in the already prepared as I mentioned I've already gone ahead and um, embossed a piece of basic white with the ornate um, embossing folder which I mean that's that's just a, a simple bit of stamping and watercoloring really the embossing folder I think just makes that pop makes the card pop And you could actually get these done pretty quickly once you've done the um, once you've sort of done your embossing. Um, these then it comes together really really quickly. The watercoloring doesn't take long at all. So these are embellishments from the the in color selection. Um, so I'm just going to pop another. Whoops, a little bit of Tombow had leaked out there. Um, I'll just use these ones. Just use another one of those, that magenta madness because I've used up just about all of the Just Jade ones. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> and some linen thread, which I'll just put a small bow on here. The linen thread. Dot. Yeah, that bow might be a little bit big. We're about to find out. Oh no, I'll go this way. There you go. Just make it a bit smaller.
Y doy. Ups. Y se vendría. Oh, I don't really like that. We'll we just make another one. <laughs> Luckily, I have a supply of linen thread. It's better. Oops. Oh, go in there. Look at this. The glow dot did not want to adhere. Here it is. There you go. That's it. Card made. That's the one I'd made originally with the linen thread, and then that's the one I just made now just with the little bow. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I have put a link to all the products I've used in the description bar below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, stampingmary at gmail.com, or you can contact me via my Stamping Up website, stampingmary at stampingup.net. That's M-E-R-R-Y. Um, and if you click the contact page, you can request a catalogue or um, whatever other information you need. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.